Royals snubbed Harry from massive family dinner in Mayfair Club last night. Andrews surpassed Harry. A royal night out. The royals have united at a massive family dinner ahead of the coronation at a luxury private club. Prince Andrew joined his children, the Tyndalls, Princess Anne and her husband, the Kents and the Wessexes at the Mayfair Club Oswalds, which is owned by British entrepreneur Robin Burley. Burley also owns and runs 5 Hartford Street, which is where controversial couple Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had their first date. The royals reportedly arrived separately, with Zara and husband Mike Tyndall among the first to arrive. Princess Eugene, who's expecting her second child with husband Jack Brooksbank, donned an Asino Velvet Athens robe costing £575. They were joined by Princess Beatrice, dressed in Louis Vuitton's £2,900 chain print asymmetrical long-sleeved frock. Pictures obtained by the Daily Mail also show the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Prince Andrew and Princess Anne, arriving at the central London venue, as well as the Duke's two children, Lady Louise and son James. Prince and Princess Michael of Kent also joined the family. Notably, during the royal family's dinner, Prince Harry was not present even though he'd taken a flight to London from the morning. A source said that Harry received a cold reception from the royal family, especially his close cousins Zara, Eugene and Beatrice. The Duke of Sussex has been warned to brace for an icy royal reunion. Even Andrew joined the party, but no one cared about Harry. Today, they'll join King Charles, Queen Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales at the coronation in Westminster Abbey. Across London, the Prince and Princess of Wales joined the King at a pre-coronation reception for overseas guests at Buckingham Palace. The King joined his son and daughter-in-law as they mingled with foreign royals. Charles's youngest son, Prince Harry, has not been pictured at the rehearsals or reception, but is believed to have arrived in the UK ahead of his father King Charles's historic coronation. Oswald's attracts the likes of Dame Joan Collins, Pretty Patel, David Beckham, the Earl of Snowden, and it's where Amber Heard was seen partying during the High Court in Johnny Depp's libel suit against a paper last year. Prince William, who was seen enjoying a night with friends at the club in November, is also said to be a member of 61-year-old Etonian Burley's secretive members-only club, Five Hartford Street. King Charles's big day is finally upon him, and in just a few short hours, the Archbishop of Canterbury will anoint him with holy oil, and place St Edward's crown upon his head during the coronation service. Queen Camilla will be crowned alongside him in a solemn religious ceremony attended by more than 2,000 guests. The pomp and pageantry will come to the fore after the service, when the newly crowned king and queen will travel in the gold state coach, accompanied by other members of the royal family and hundreds of military personnel. Other key highlights of the day include the King and Queen's initial procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey shortly after 10am, which follows the arrival of the guests. The coronation procession back to the palace will kick off shortly after the service concludes at 1pm. The next big event will be the RAF fly-past shortly after 2pm, with senior working royals stepping out onto the balcony for the highly anticipated moment.